YouTube, what's happening y'all, Ken folk? It's your friendly neighborhood sneaker man, Go Weezy, back in the building once again, man. Hey, I appreciate everybody for coming through Great Nation. Welcome to Great Nation. Now, if you new over here, first time watching, hey man, make sure you hold smash that subscribe button for your boy, ring that notification bell, and hit that like button too, man. You hit that like button, it's gonna help everything grow. Help the channel grow, man. And then when you hit that bell, you won't miss out on anything, any video that I put out, man. So go ahead, do all that to join Great Nation. Now, you guys see the title, you guys see the thumbnail. We're going to get into it. Space Jam. It's been a lot of talk about Space Jam, man. I don't know why. I know why. I mean, LeBron James is being compared to Michael Jordan each and every day by people who don't know nothing about basketball, in my opinion. But that's neither here nor there. That's a different conversation for a different day. Ready to show you all these sneakers that I got, man. Now, we had the entire Space Jam collection. I wish they would have came, came out with these back in the day, like with Michael Jordan. Man, if Mike would have had like a Space Jam collection back in the day, bro, we would have been, we'd have been straight, man. We'd have been straight with a Space Jam collection. But nonetheless, LeBron James has graced us with an entire Space Jam collection, LeBron James and Warner Brothers. Man, that was a whole lot. Like, I wanted the, uh, well, I'm sure everybody wanted the Wally Coyote and Roadrunner, the mixed match pair. Like, I definitely wanted that. But the one that I definitely wanted, I ended up getting. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox these things. Okay, okay. I see Nike back at it again with the Just Steal It tape, man. Nike, y'all better cut that out, man. All right, let's open this up. Let's open these things. All right, guys, and here we have it. The LeBron 18 Low. And this is the Space Jam colorway. This, the colorway is white, bright crimson, black. This is a size 12 and a half. With the LeBron 18 Lows, like they fit stupid tight. So I had to go up half a size and I'm lucky that I hit in a 12 and a half on sneakers because y'all know a 12 and a half is a unicorn size. And uh, these retail for 160 bucks, man. Let y'all peep the tag. All right, then we're gonna drop the top back on these things. Oh snap, they got a little message. Space Jam and New Legacy and all related characters and elements. Uh, this is copyrighted and trademarked by Warner Brothers Entertainment, Inc. So, shout out to Warner Brothers. Y'all remember them hood Warner Brothers shirts from back in the day, back when I was in like high school, you see the police Warner Brothers? <laughs> and, ooh, man, this one right here tough in my opinion. This was the second best one out of the LeBron 18 lows, man, for real. I know we got the uh, Bugs Bunny uh, versus Marvin the Martian. I wasn't too keen on that one, and those are coming in stores. I think a couple stores are supposed to be getting those now. But yeah, we got the Tweety Bird versus the Sylvester the Cat. Now, I am a huge fan of Sylvester and Tweety Bird. I don't know if y'all used to watch Looney Tunes back in the day. You remember back during the summertime when you stayed with your grandmama. You know, your grandma, sometimes your grandma would sing you in another room. You know, he had a little other room to watch cartoons with your brother, sister, and your cousin, and all them. You don't know nothing about that. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm speaking a foreign language to so those who don't know nothing about that. While your grandma was watching stories, when you got a chance to go in the other room with your cousin, then you, you was watching cartoons. You were watching Looney Tunes and all that back in the day. But nonetheless, man, we got the LeBron 18 lows. I am digging this colorway. Now let's go ahead and get into details about this one, man. All right, the LeBron 18 lows. Now, it's kind of a mixed match sneaker. I, I, I'm sorry if I sound country. It sounds like I'm saying mixed match, but I'm saying mix, mix, match. I'm just talking real fast. That's how us country folk do. But nah, man. So along the air bubble, y'all know LeBron James 18 lows are made with Nike React, as you guys can see. But there's subtle details on these sneakers, man. So on one side of the sneaker, we got Suffering Succotash. That's what Sylvester the Cat is known for saying, Suffering Succotash. And if you peep the Nike swoosh, it has this little crimson red Nike swoosh with the little white circle. I guess that's supposed to be displaying Sylvester's nose because his nose does have like a little white circle on it. You know, he got a red nose with a white circle. 
don't know if y'all paid attention to that. Now let's get on the tongue. Now on the tongue, it has the tune squad emblem, as y'all can see. And then we're gonna peep the inside of the tongue. The inside of the tongue has Sylvester the cat. Look like he's reaching for something, man. The boy reaching, probably trying to reach for Tweety Bird. Y'all know Sylvester was always after Tweety Bird, trying to eat Tweety Bird, especially when he was living with Granny. And shout out to Granny. Granny played a huge role in the new Space Jam movie. I have seen the movie. Right now, I'm just gonna go ahead out on a limb and say it is for kids, but being that we are in our 30s now, I know the original Space Jam came out when I was eight. I had to been like seven or eight. That was 96. So yeah, about seven or eight when it came out. It was good at the time. You know, Michael Jordan was a global icon, but we'll see if Space Jam 2 stands the test of time. I don't think it will. That's just my opinion, but it was, it was a good movie. We'll see what these uh, kids nowadays, when they turn 30, we'll see how they feel about it. All right, but going into the insole of the sneaker, now we do have two different insoles. Uh, on the left insole with the Sylvester the Cat, you do have Sylvester in his Toon Squad jersey holding the basketball. And then on the other sneaker with Tweety, we do have Tweety Bird up in the air. Look like he's floating or flying a little bit. I ain't gonna say too much of what's going on with Tweety, but and quick, is Tweety a, a girl or a boy? I, I never understood what Tweety Bird was. Is, is he unisex? You know, uh, that's a lot of controversy. I ain't matter of fact, I ain't even gonna get into it. I don't even know why I said it, man. On the right sneaker, we do have I thought I thought a putty cat. That's what Tweety is known for saying whenever he sees Sylvester the cat. But we have the same details on the sneaker. Like I said, it's not mixed match how the Wally Coyote and the Road Runner sneaker is. That, like I said, that's the one everybody wanted because of the two different colors. But on the inside of the tongue, on this Tweety versus Sylvester, you do have the Tweety Bird eyes. It's yellow with Tweety Bird eyes, as y'all can see. Um, if I had to grade this sneaker, man, I'm gonna give it a. Uh, like I said, I like this one, so I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it about a seven, man. You know, I wish we would have gotten more characters and everything on this because I think the entire collection is dope. Um, this is second in my opinion as far as the collection. Well, as far as the LeBron collection, I'm not gonna count the Air Force Ones with Lola and Bugs. I do have that review coming for y'all soon. And the computer chip, I think the computer chip was more limited than the Bugs Bunny and the Lola Bunny Air Forces. But, uh, and then we do have the LeBron 8s coming out soon, and I do like those, so I'll be going after those. But yeah, I'm gonna give y'all some quick B-roll, and then we gonna jump back in the front of the camera, and we gonna end this joint, man. And once again, we have the Sylvester versus Tweety Bird, LeBron 18 low. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about these in the comment section below. Y'all know I love to interact with y'all. Um, and also let me know which uh, sneaker was your favorite of the Space Jam A New Legacy collection. Like I said, this one right here was one of my favorites. I'm waiting on the LeBron Space Jam 8s. I saw the details on that one. I think Jay the Sneaker Guy and Chaotic Kicks, they did an early review on those and I'm patiently waiting for those. I, I think those are crazy dope, man, for real. But yeah, once again, y'all let me know how y'all feel about these and the other sneakers in the collection, man. But anyway, it's been your friendly neighborhood sneaker man, Go Wheezy. And as always, sending everybody love, peace, and all this beef out here, put some chicken grease on that thing.